Catfish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and this video is kind of inspired by a message I got from one of my friends the other day. He just said this, who would have thought that one bad cable could have caused so many problems and noise? Yeah, I remember he been saying that he's had some, some trouble with his, uh, he's got quite a complicated uh, effects set up with, you know, rack units and, and pedals and stomp boxes and all that sort of thing. And he'd been getting a lot of noise and it was intermittent. They're always the, the toughest problems to, to diagnose. And it turned out at the end of it, it was just one cable that was plugging into one of his pedals that was the problem. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about in this video, talk a little bit about testing cables. Now, if you go out onto the internet, you can probably find someone who'll sell you a, like a cable tester. What I prefer to use, something like this, it's just a multimeter. You can use these for testing cables, but you can do all sorts of other things with them. Uh, you know, you use it for testing integrity of wiring if I've rewired uh, internals on a guitar. Um, you know, testing resistance pickups. This has successfully diagnosed a bad coil on a, on a humbucker one time, and you can use it for other non-guitar things. It also diagnosed a fault with a timer switch on uh, on my heating system. So, not too expensive to, to buy. You can, you can pick them up for uh, not a whole lot of money. And like I say we've got various uses. What I'll do is I'll show you how to use this to test cables. Okay, so here's a multimeter, and comes with these uh, these two probes. I'm going to plug those in. Common into the input, and these two probes are what we use for for testing. And the meter measures loads of different things. It can measure voltage on. Uh, DC and AC, you can use it for battery testing, it'll measure current and it'll also measure resistance. That's quite useful for your testing pickups, but what we're interested in here is just continuity, knowing that there is a circuit. So, set that and take the two probes, and if I just touch the tips together, the meter beeps, so that tells me that there's a circuit. So basically, signal coming out of here, down the red wire, probes are touching so it goes down, black, down, back down the black wire and into the meter so it tells us that there's a circuit. So that's what we want to test with the cable. Now I've got a cable here which I know has got a fault on it. It's an old, what is it? it's a TRS cable. Uh, so basically tip ring sleeve, 6.5mm uh, to 3.5mm. And I know for a fact that one of these is, is defective. So we can use the meter to test for that. This is where a meter is a little bit more fiddly um, than, say, uh, a dedicated cable tester. So one of these sort of tools is quite useful. Okay, and I'm looking for continuity. So if I take the probes and I touch against the tip on one cable, it doesn't matter which, which probe goes on to which, which end of the cable, and touch against the tip of the other, the meter beeps. So that tells me that the tip-to-tip the -tip connection there works. If I try the ring, again, I'm getting continuity, so that I know that the ring part of that cable works. Touch against the sleeve part, nothing. So that tells me there that it's the, the sleeve part of the cable that's broke, and that cable's defective. Take apart one of the parts of the cable that works, say the, the ring, You know, you take the probes and hold them on there for a decent length of time so you know it's not a, an intermittent connection and also with cables it's worth while you, you're holding the, the probes on possibly waggling the, the cable a little bit because if it's a loose connection then you might you might get sort of like continuity sometimes but when you waggle it the cable can, uh, continuity breaks so it's important not just to do a, a quick test, beep, okay, I know that cable's good. Okay, I hope you found that useful. If you did, please click like. If you really enjoyed it, please click subscribe button down there as well, and you'll be notified of any other videos that I post onto the Fatfish Guitar Studio YouTube channel. If you've got a question or a suggestion for a future video, then if you go here, send your question in, and I'll try and get around to answering it as soon as I can. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video next time. Bye for now.